Uh, go to John, if you would, John chapter 21. <clears throat> Hallelujah, mighty God. John chapter 21, verse 15. That's what I want to. I ain't going to preach long. John, John 21, 15. John chapter 21, verse 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're talking revival. We're talking about deliverance. We're talking about living for the Lord. Amen. We, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, except the days be shortened. No flesh shall be saved. He said he shortened the days because of man's heart and failed. Right. And we need, Sister Mary, we need the Spirit of God. Yes. Yes. I was listening to Brother Bo, and again, David repeated his promise to him. Amen. And Brother Bo was repeating the Lord's promise I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you. What an awesome thing! He won't. Yes, he what an awesome thing but verse 15 I'm just going to do half of it so when they had died Jesus said to Simon Peter Simon son of Jonas listen to this as there's a comma here yes. he said lovest thou me more than these If you can only get the setting in your mind uh, what he's talking about today. <clears throat> Do you love me more than everybody that's around you? Come on. Then I got to ask you to do so. You got to feed my sheep. Yeah. It don't cost you. Lord God, as we come before you, Lord God, there's nothing like you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing like you, Lord. Nothing like you. And your word says, Lord, in chapter 20 of Revelation, that there'd be no tears in heaven. No. Be no sorrow, be no sickness. Yes, Lord. Be no death. Yes. What an awesome thing that we'll sit here and we'll plow the fields. We'll preach your word. We'll continue to plow. We'll, we'll continue, Lord God, to do what it, the parable of the man that owned the field and the husband there he come and wanted to take the tree down and he said, no, let me dung it one more time. one more time. We'll continue spreading your word. I don't know who's going, but I want to take somebody with me. Yes. But I know when I get there, my mind, my eyes will be on you. Hallelujah. Be no more tears. Hallelujah. Be no more tears. No more sorrow. Woo. I won't know who makes it and who don't make it. Won't matter. I'm going to be worshiping you. Yes. Lord, as we look at this, Lord, I pray God for your anointing. Lord, I prayed yes, yesterday. God. And I prayed today, Lord God, to you, Lord Jesus. Just to, my mind's been on you, Lord. I'd ask, Lord God, for you to allow all these words to come off of this page today, Lord. My brother said he didn't want to leave the same way that he got here, Lord Jesus. And I don't want him to leave, Lord God. I don't want to leave, Lord God. I want to be changed, Lord Jesus. I want to see revival, Lord. Again, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. I know the man that said, my God, that made the sea and the wind obey his voice when he said, peace be still. Yes. Yes. I know that man. Yes. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. And I shall not fear, my God, because I know you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, bless this word. I ask in your mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want for a few minutes, I want to take you to the to the book of Deuteronomy real quick but uh, uh, in a minute, but I just want to, for a moment, us to, us to really 
Man, the cost of love. I mean, Jesus is asking Peter, My God, lovest thou me more than these? Right. Peter's got a brother there. Peter's got close friends there. Peter's got family. You remember Peter telling Jesus that, man, we, we've left our families for you. And Jesus tells him that's a small thing. Do we love him that much to tell the truth? That's the question today. Do you love that much that you can tell the truth? Hallelujah, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. He's a good God and a mighty God and an awesome God, church. He deserves, amen, for us to be sold out to him. Amen, we can look and we know worldly things is happening. Amen, and we kind of get excited, but I'm going to tell you something, church. I look at it maybe a little different than everybody else. Amen, all I can see when I see change like that happening, amen, it ain't that I'm going to tarry for another 40 or 50 years here. I look at the opportunity that the Lord has put a wedge, yeah. amen, of the door that it cannot close, amen, uh, giving somebody else a chance, yeah. amen, yeah. giving us, the church, yeah. a chance, yeah. amen, to I testify, know. to witness yeah. to somebody else, yeah. amen. Again, I just refuse to leave, amen, without revival. I just refuse to leave, amen, without taking somebody else, yeah. Amen with me, amen, when I leave this place. I don't want to go before the Lord, amen, empty-handed, amen. I don't want to look at people, amen, and say, well, amen, that's just you. Amen, I want to pray for them. Amen, I want to get to the place, my God, in the name of Jesus, and the Lord will turn them inside out. The Lord is not going to make anybody serve Him. It's going to be on free will, church. I come today free will. Amen. To lift my voice before the Lord. Amen. I'm not ashamed that this goes out. I'm not ashamed that it goes out on the radio, on the website. I know that I may be slow in speech and got a southern accent. People can make it fun of me. I don't care. I'm not ashamed of the God. Gospel of Jesus Christ. I understand that the blood was shed for this old boy. And I thank him for it today, church. Because there'll come a day that it'll be finished. Yes. My time here will be finished. Yes. And I'll give account for the things that I've done, church. Right. My God, in the name of Jesus. I think about that. Do you love him? You know, Jesus asked him three different times about that. Do you love us thou me? Do you love me? Right. Again, Brother Bo, Peter said, Thou knowest all things. Yes. Maybe we ain't looking at it right, Brother Bo. I'm just like you. I get weary and well-doing. Right. I get weary and well-doing. Come on, let's confess. Amen. I get weary and well-doing. I get tired of trial after trial after trial. I get tired of it. I get tired of fixing this problem and turn around there's another problem. I get tired, amen, of this stuff that block being here, moving that and another come. I get tired, amen, of these empty seats just like y'all get tired of the empty seats church. I get tired of the promises of people coming when they don't come. I get tired of all of that. Amen, but I'm telling you, but when I warfare against Satan, it gets me joy in my spirit to allow me to know it ain't dead in here yet. Amen. He's after me, trying to defeat me. It ain't dead yet, or he wouldn't be after me. Amen. A farmer don't shoot dead rabbits, church. Do you hear what I'm saying? I can look in glory and say it ain't dead yet. I'm still alive. 
mouth. Satan is still after me, trying to close my mouth. But I refuse. I refuse. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let me take you to Deuteronomy chapter 31, if you will, for just a moment. I ain't going to hold you long. I didn't want to stir you up. Amen. I didn't want to stir you up to allow you to know that you're alive. And know what I said last week? That you're alive and stone. Lie. Right. We ain't dead. We're alive. Man, we ain't dead. We alive. Amen. The Holy Ghost is alive. Come on. The Spirit of God is alive. Come on. Yes. Amen. It's burning up in my bones. Amen. Amen. My God, I want my bones. Amen. It's all right if I say it. I'm going to say it. It'll be all right. Amen. I want my bones when I'm gone, Sister Mary. Amen. It ain't nothing but my bones. Amen. In the, in the casket, if that's what. They decide to do me, I ain't, I don't care, amen. To be absent from this body, I'm going to be present with the Lord. You can take your soul carcass and do with it what you want. You can let the buzzards have it, you can burn me, you can do whatever you want. Amen, but I know this, Sister Karen, about Elisha, amen. When they throw that young man that died in battle, and they throw him in the grave because they didn't have time to dig a hole and put him in it. The Bible said once he touched, amen, Elisha's bones, and he come back alive. My God, in the name of Jesus, I want this Holy Ghost all through my marrow, just not in my blood. But after I'm gone, my God, I want somebody to be converted of the Word of God. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. My God. He said he'd give me the desires of my heart, church. My God, when I'm dead and gone, I want revival. Amen. We're talking about Smith Wigglesworth. And we talk about Brother Seymour. And we talk about the Azusa revival. Amen. Yeah. Then people dead and gone. But we still talk about it. Man, I wish we had that. Right. We do. <laughs> My God. Sister, it'd be all right if Sister Jennifer burns me. I have a pile of ashes. Maybe y'all, y'all just pour it out right here, amen. And when the government don't do right, y'all come in here and rent your clothes and water. Let it be holy and righteous before the Lord. Like they did in the Old Testament. Let them go get in the burn pile. Yes. Amen. I want this to be a sacrifice to the Lord. I'm just talking to a top and shouting to you, church. I know I'm talking crazy to you. Amen. But I'm telling you, I serve a true God. And He's still alive. Amen. We may be gone, Brother Bo, but we may leave a legacy behind. They may be seeing our kinfolk. My God, he may not come back. He may not be not be the rapture yet. Yeah. Chapter 31 of Deuteronomy. This is where the Lord tells Moses that he's not going over. Sister Mary, this is where he tells him that you're not going over, but we're going to do one more last charge. Yeah. I'm going to command you to do one more thing for me. I want you to go get in front of Israel. And I want you to anoint Joshua in front of Israel. They the ones that's He's going to lead you across. But Moses, there's something I want you to do. I want you to write a song about victory. <laughs> I want you to write a song about me. I want y'all to look at this verse with me. 
I want you to remember. Remember what I read to you at the beginning. Because I want to bring it back to your mind. But verse 19. He says, Now therefore write ye this song for you. And teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths. Comma. That this song may be a witness for me mm -hmm. against them. Mm -hmm. Boy, this is tough love today. Mm -hmm. We can shout, we can we can do what we want to, but do you love him more than you love your children? That's what he's asking Jesus, asking Peter. You love me more loud than these. Because you fit and have to sacrifice. Right. You fix and have to be separate. You fix and have to look at them and understand. You're either going to love me and know that uh, <clears throat> they may come and they may not. Right. But will you come and follow me? This God that we serve said, Moses, write a song and teach it to them. Right. That it be a witness against them. But these things I'm going to do for you. If you go back and read it, it'll make you sick on your stomach. Because he said, Moses, here's the deal. You're going to be dead and gone. But they're going to sin. I'm telling you now, and ain't nothing you can do about it. Ain't nothing that Joshua can do about it. They're going to sin. But what I need you to do is set it up that I can judge them. Right. Same thing. Do you love us thou me more than these? Mm -hmm. Sister Carrie and I, if there's never another body come in here, I will not negotiate the truth. Come on. That'd be all right for me to say. Does that sound ugly? No, I want everybody to go. Amen. But I, I want my soul. Amen. I, I got my soul. Yes. My soul. Yes. I want my soul to go. Amen. I don't want to be a Hezekiah. Amen. I don't want to turn to the wall. Amen. And say, Lord, extend my life. Amen. Extend me. Let me stay a while. And not only that, let me party with the, the enemy. Amen. You remember when, when, when Isaiah went back to King Hezekiah and said, what hast thou done? Right. Amen. You have exposed them to the most holiest thing. Amen. That you could have done. And now the children of Israel are going to pay for it. Right. Amen. If you remember, and again, I said this last week, and I'll bring it to your attention. Brother Michael stood behind this pulpit and preached the message. Yes. Where has my glory gone? Uh, he allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to walk into the holies of holies, his men, and uh, take all the gold, all the gold vessels that they drunk out of Sister Karen, all the gold that was on the walls, everything that was brought to the Lord and sacrificed to the Lord and sanctified to the Lord that the priest done. He was able to walk in dirty flesh Gentile and pick it up and then not kill him. I need y'all to understand that. When the Lord turns his face against his people, he allows the enemy to come in and they will destroy. They will conquer. But as long as his people hold on to him and be ye holy as I am holy, as he is holy, I'm telling you something, Satan cannot cross the bloodline, church. But do you love him enough? No. Brittany and them was sick a little bit this morning too. When she was aggravated, she hit me up. She said, Daddy, we were coming again today. But see, that's what the enemy wants to do. Right. Just Mary, I love my grandchildren. And I'm going to tell them the truth about that word. Amen. And the Bible gives me a promise, if I understood it, that my seed, That's right. they'll get in. That's right. I put my hands on them family pictures yesterday, Brother Bubba. And I said, Lord, use these for your glory. Amen. I love and I enjoy them, but these are yours. That's right. I put my hands on all my family. I, I love it when they leave town. I get to spend time with the Lord. I don't. I don't have a a, a honeydew list or what. There's a problem. I got fixed. When they leave town, I'm on vacation because I'm on vacation with the Lord. It's just a beautiful thing. 
And it offends them. And I say, no, y'all go ahead. Y'all get out. It's all right. Y'all go, 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 go. Amen. But it's a beautiful time, amen, that I can listen and hear the, the word of the Lord. Yes. And I'm telling y'all something, and you can believe me, and you don't have to believe me. Amen. But I'm telling you, it's been a long time, Sister Karen. I say not a long time, but it, to me it's a long time. And that amen that the Lord began to deal with me with that message that I got to preach you that funeral. And it, was, it seemed like it was just like old times. If he began to write that thing in front of me, what to say and give me everything that I needed to do because that's what I asked for. Yes. That's what I prayed for. Yes. Because I'll be in front of a Gentile nation, amen, thinking that they've gotten favor because right. of kinfolk. Right. I need y'all to understand that for a moment. Amen. But the one thing that I want y'all to understand, I love him more. I'm a Peter. Yeah. I love his thou more. Yeah. I love you more. You know my heart. Yeah. Amen. And they all may turn, Sister Karen, and walk the other way. But the one thing that I will not negotiate, thus saith the Lord. I need you to understand this. That the song that I put in their mouth and rehearse it and put it there, when they leave, they're going to know. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. And there will be requirements made. Amen. If you enter in church. That's right. I said this, Sister Karen. I said, Lord, just make it simple. Right. If it's simple, they can't argue with it. Right. If it's simple, right. let's give it to me that it's so simple and laid out. Make it, Brother Bo, like we do when we brim fish. We just take that old wiggler and we just hook him twice and let his old tail, that old wiggler tail, do like that to work. They just have to yeah. suck it all the way up. Right. They just can't sit there and nibble, 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 make your cork his bone. They got to suck the whole thing and grab it all and swallow it all. Right. That's the way I want it. That Amen. when we leave there, they'll know there's a book of works. Amen. And there's a book of life. Come on. I want to rehearse them what he said in verse 11. If you be unjust, that you stay unjust. Right. If you be holy, You'll stay holy. Yeah. If you be yeah. filthy, you it's all right to stay filthy because he's true and just and he's telling you now. Right. Get it right. Yeah. Truth. You can't argue Truth. with it. That's right. You can't argue with it. Just Karen, <laughs> just an awesome thing because Jesus was the carpenter's son, you remember? All I can think about is Amos and the plumb line. When, Jesus, when God asked Amos, what do thou see us? I'll preach this message to y'all later. What do y'all see us? He said, well, I see that plumb line. He said, yes, right. Yeah. He said, I set this before my people. And he said, I won't come back. I won't visit. This is what they'll have to sure up to. Right. And if they sure up to it, I'll save them. If they don't sure up to it, Ain't no make it. What troubles me, Sister Karen, is people won't tell the truth. You don't do it, you quick. Uh, it won't be a quick Bible study, but you go back. And you match up Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, what I'm fixing to tell you. You can match this up. <clears throat> It'll be very easy to do about the 70 years. And Daniel, Daniel was in the kingdom. Isaiah, Jeremiah, well, Daniel was after he was captured. Jeremiah was before that. <clears throat> but here's the deal about them 70 years thing that troubled me, this is where Ezekiel come on the scene. They all in bondage. <clears throat> and Isaiah brought them the word. If you go back and read it. You in bondage, but I'm going to bless you in bondage. You go ahead and multiply. You go ahead and let your cattle multiply. Your kids, you go ahead and plant your garden. You're just in bondage. Right. But my problem with that is this. It, <clears throat> this is doesn't say this, but it has to be this way. It got so watered down 
that God had to send Ezekiel in there and say, look here, right. I need you to understand why you're in bondage. Right. You've got custom to living over here in heathen land, and I ain't, that ain't where you're supposed to be. Right. You're supposed to be out of here and back over there what Jeremiah bought you. You remember at the end of Jeremiah, he took the 30 pieces and bought the land? Right. This is where you're supposed to be dwelling, not over here. And sometimes <clears throat> when Jesus said that he reigned on the just and the unjust, you remember that? Son is on the rich and the poor. Right. Sometimes we forget that. Right. We forget the cause of that rain that we feel that uh, we in the will of the Lord. But I'm here to tell you today, believe me, don't believe me, do whatever you want to do. And this is how I believe it's my two and four. You can run me off and I give you the keys to the place. It's all right. But if you're tight lipped, you in the tribe of Satan. Right. You on his side if you tight lived. Right. If you won't witness, if you won't tell somebody, Sister Karen, they wrong. That ain't right. Right. You on the other side of the fence. True. True statement. If you sit there and say, God gonna get them, and you just go on about your business and never, never correct that problem. I'm not talking about Getting a 357, and if you don't repent now, then pull the trigger. I'm not talking about that, and I'm not talking about being great to somebody. But you can correct somebody in the Holy Ghost right. that may give them the deer and headlight look. Yeah. And so I just wanted to let you know this is the truth. I don't mind saying this, I won't give no names, but I had this comment was made to me. Somebody went on vacation and uh, I was picking at the person. And uh, I always picked at this person. <clears throat> and I said, yeah, you was probably out there streaking in a bikini is what I told her. <laughs> and she said, oh, well, be it, you bunch of Pentecostals. <clears throat> Yeah, I know y'all won't tolerate that. I said, no. Don't, don't, don't characterize me as Pentecostal. Right. I said, that's just the word of God. I said, cover your neck. Right. Right. I, I didn't make that up. Right. I just abide by the word. Right. Right. Don't, don't, right. don't put me, don't put me in, in that category. I, I didn't make that. I didn't dream that up. Right. That's right. Bible said, cover your neck. And so yeah. that's what Bible, that's what he said. I just I just live for him. Amen. And that person was I said, Well, I'm just telling you, don't 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 put words in my mouth. Right. <laughs> don't do that, because I then I, I I I'm not good. Right. I'm not lost in it. not good. <clears throat> well again, ignorance. Ignorance. Again. Right. That's the problem. Do you love a style me more? Put the put the song in their mouth that I that it be a witness against them when I judge them. Right. I'm going to correct because I'm going to teach something. I ain't going to be no blood on this old okay? cat. <laughs> I might not make it in, but it ain't going to be because I didn't tell somebody the truth. Come on. Yeah. Now, I might have, Brother Bo should have went to Nineveh one time and didn't go and forgot to repent about it. Because <laughs> I didn't think that was worthy enough to hear the word or whatever. I'm just using that as an example. Right. But it won't be because I looked at you and said, okay, sister, do whatever you want. Jesus loves you. Right. I can't give you the amplified version because this is the authentic version, and that's right. what I'm gonna hold on to. Yeah. I ain't gonna water it down and put add some words and twist them around and, and paint them a different color. They mean ease your conscience. Nope. As Jesus loves you, absolutely. Gonna hurt his heart when he has to say, "Depart from me." But I pray he don't do that to me. Amen. He's a good God and he's an awesome God, church. And I love him. And he's a mighty God and ain't nothing like him. But I'm telling y'all something right now. I would not dare not tell somebody the truth. And if you want deliverance, again, I, that widow woman was survived. 
But she made her mind up, yes. I ain't going to bow. That's right. I'm not going to run with that pack down there. Jezebel was feeding Israel, by the way. Right. You go back in history and read, I know that's theology, but she was she was keeping Israel fat. Right. So that's why they're all piled up down there. But I don't never remember Elijah listening to me either. Right. The Lord sent the bird to feed him. Sent the angel to feed him. Come on. That's May right. they be water there for him to drink. Come on, somebody. He'll Amen. supply you need. Yes, he will. Every time. <sighs> God's good to us. Do you love us thou him more than these? Again, if Satan is on me, I must be alive. Amen. I must still be alive. Ain't that awesome? Amen. Farmer, don't shoot dead rabbits. He's a good God. Let us stand. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God, church. He 